also wanted to say that um, we're not starting on the date because uh, it's, it's at the March, I'm going to be part of the Social March in Washington, um, and it, it's getting bigger, so we don't have a definite date yet, but um, it could, uh, sometime in maybe September or August, around that time, but I'm going to also be a speaker at the Children's March of Washington in Washington, D.C. at the Lincoln Memorial as well. And I want to keep in touch on that. Please let me know. Uh, let everybody know how old you are. We're so proud of you, Elijah. Thank you so much. I'm only 13 years old. 13 years old, and he is really growing and in and, and strength and wisdom and knowledge and in activism. Thank you, Elijah, for your call. Let's go to North Carolina to XM 126 in North Carolina to Steve. Steve, you're keeping it real with Al Shout. Reverend Al, it's good to speak with you. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Uh, hey, I was calling to uh, uh, get, get your thoughts on uh, the fact that the law and order candidate is now officially under investigation for <laughs> uh, probably even more. Uh, and um, uh, I, I had a few minutes to watch, uh, it was a while back, uh, Jeff Sessions. Uh, during during his hearing, and um, I just get this shady, slimy feeling uh, listening to his every answer. And um, I, I may have missed your commentary after this, but what did you think about uh, Kamala Harris and uh, the points that she was making about him hiding behind a made-up policy uh, for not answering questions? And what does that do for? the integrity of the Department of Justice that the Attorney General is uh, acting that way is, is so careless with the truth uh, when answering questions. No, I think you raised two very good points. Thank you for your call, Steve. Uh, one, I think that the uh, irony uh, that the law and order candidate uh, would be uh, uh, the one under investigation for obstruction of justice. The irony should not be missed. I think that's a very, very uh, poignant point uh, because here's a man who says he was going to restore law and order and, and uh, bring what he called dignity back to the White House, which I felt had been more dignified under President Obama than we've seen it in a long time, if ever. And uh, now he has brought uh, a clear level of investigation. We're back to a special counsel investigating the president. The attorney general has to recuse himself. I mean, this is as as bad as it gets unless there it goes further, which many are beginning to feel, including me, that it will in terms of some real, real uh, <clears throat> uh, movements toward uh, some kind of prosecutions of some of those involved in this. Uh, in terms of sessions, I think that Senator Kamala Harris's point of view uh, and questioning point of questioning was right on target because how do you have the chief law enforcement person for the country trying to use executive privilege, trying to use and a uh, misuse, I might say, a uh, a a law, a or 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 some some legal qualification or disqualifier that he's misinterpreting and that has not been imposed. And as I said earlier, then to interrupt her, and they've done it. Uh,